there's a difference probably in how you think about leading the large team versus a small team. How do you think about that, Scott? Um, and you said it in your in your in your word team that that in large organizations it takes the enterprise. I, I tell everyone that it's 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 not me, but it's it's we. And in order for me to manage, you know, the, the hundreds of thousands of people in our organization, that it takes the team. It takes leaderships at different level, which means as me as the, the, the commander at the top, I have to trust those medical professionals that are underneath me to lead their teams. And so in a large organization, the enterprise, trust and confidence in your subordinates. Because you can't micromanage. Well, you can try to micromanage a large organization, but you know there's some things you just can't put your arm around. You know, and and this beast was called Army Medicine. You can't put your arms around the missions and the number of medical professionals and training requirements as we conserve the fighting strength in combat, as well as ensure the readiness and health in peacetime. It's too big, and it's, and the ranges is just too large. So trusting in the chain of command and the leaders at every level, that they are going to provide the platform for readiness or the, the uh, proficiency or the acumen of their skills, and then ensuring that they can take that when called upon and deploy it into combat. So there's trust and confidence that I have to depend on and train the leaders. And smaller organization is more hands-on, you know, much more easier to manage because now I'm right there you know, at the point of injury or at the point of training that I'm responsible for. Being removed so far, it's a trust in the organizational construct, but that also takes training and leadership by providing the vision, the mission, the end state, and the direction that I want the healthcare system to go in. 